Okay, welcome to the continuing playthrough. We're now at the Lift of Rold, and we're going to take a ride up to the snowy mountaintop. They really have done so well on the artwork on this. Up we go. I think the next time I can, I'm going to level up endurance once one more time so I can wear this tree sentinel gauntlets without um, without the rune being activated. I know it doesn't really matter, but my aesthetic, I prefer, uh, I prefer to wear the other gauntlets. All right. Let's go over here and see Shabriri. Down my back. Something just died. Something else just died. What is dying? Let's see, will these? Oh, I can't. I can't even hit them. What was dying? All right. Let's activate the grace. And we'll talk to Shabriri over there. Now think about how gruesome this would actually be in real life. That this is a dude you've known and helped out. And you know he died. You saw him die over at the church. And here you stand there getting ready to talk to you. Think about how unsettling this would actually be in real life. Yeah, the long face. In real life, I'd be face buttholes and elbows the other way. Flesh. He gave it to me. Shabriri, I hope you can make your peace with that. His helmet does not seem very practical to me. Then again, my headgear is meant to show off her hair, not really protect her, so I don't have much room to talk. It's not very practical for a warrior either. Yeah, when you do that, for the Lord of Chaos inning, Melanie gets PO'd. Seek audience with the three fingers and the flame of frenzy. If you inherit the flame of frenzy, your flesh will serve as kindling, and the girl can be spared, setting you on the righteous path of Lordship. The path of the Lord of Chaos. She does not want to be spared. The earth tree to the ground and incinerate 
all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, uh, may chaos take the world. May chaos take the world. Yeah, I guess I was gonna say. So, I don't know, maybe, I'll think about it, maybe a Marcus of Dragons would do chaos. Maybe not, though. And also the, the, uh, Three Fingers thing, it is brutal. Uh, very well done artistically, but, um, it's, it's pretty graphic and even off-putting to an extent as well as the ending uh, let's see what we got so yeah we got oh I gotta go I gotta see what I'm doing with Morgot oh I'm going I hope I click that grace I'm going as a hunter all right I will try to quickly defeat him or be killed. I don't really know where the guy is. Look down here. There he is. Recruit recusant. Look at him go. Oh, there's a Night Calvary. That's not going to be fun. Well, that was a good invader. He knew how to use the environment. That is for sure. Okay, at any rate, I don't want to rest at this side of grace um, because I'm going to go back. There's my map. I'm going to go back. Oops. To the round table hole and mother grabber and see what, see what I can upgrade and look at his uh, Margot's uh, soul. Our members, whatever it's called in this game. Well, you managed to return. You know what this means. The Earth Tree has burned you. The fingers remain still, shaken by this turn of events. They are busy consulting the Great Will. When Big mistake, fingers. The fingers will again offer their guidance. But thousands, if not tens of thousands, of rules must first pass. No matter for me, but you. How will you ever manage to wait? My, oh my. Yeah, I think I will not do... Where's Chris Sword? Hmm. Death skills with Arcane. Yeah, we'll we'll get this. Why not?
I think I will not do the Laura Chaos ending with her because of her cool dragon eyes. Well, can't see it there very well. Oh, I didn't do the rest of my runes. I'll do calculations, or I'll just go multiplayer again to see if that's going to work. And actually, I might make it to where I can actually wear the the hat to... Well, a lot of times I have the rule of thumb that you, you can't cover the player's hair. Sometimes, I don't know, depends on my mood. Uh, let's see here. That's 6.5. That's better in every way. Yeah, I'd hate to wake up to that at, at night. Well, or in the morning. Yeah, it's a crucible tree. That's okay, now it's good. Maybe we'll shoot for that later on. <coughs> At any rate, let's see if there's any updates to this. Not really. I'm not going to spend any more on uh, what's your face. Yes, Latina. You took it for dead, I bet. It's all the same. Lay out your arms then. Let's see if we can strengthen that out of them. So actually increasing this to maximum is probably the reason to go to the consecrated snowfield. Since I didn't do any of the Vare quest things. And doing them would make her eyes turn blood red. So to keep her dragon status, um, we'll put it the other way. All right, let's see what we can sell here. I think I need 93. Yeah, let's do this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna piss anybody off. Look at all those daggers. The Misericord is nice because it's got such a high critical. When I play with a character that uses a bunch of criticals, I usually have them use the Misericord. Alright, I am going to level up. Endurance one more time. And we'll see how that works in terms of my summoning. If it if my encumbrance makes it not work. Okay. Okay, we will end up here, and um, pick it uh, pick it up here. I'll, I'll uh, sort of quasi take on the Zimbo ruins. Just get the one thing in the cellar, 
basically bypassing most of it. But anyway, we'll do that next playthrough. Thank you for watching.